Financial condition of East Jefferson General Hospital is far more critical than most people realize. One indicator is standing in plain sight. Thousands of people drive by the empty building in the heart of Metairie every day. It's right by Clearview Mall, which is, of course is at Clearview and Veterans Boulevard in Metairie. This is the building that we're talking about, and many people are unaware of the money that's being squandered inside of that building. In an eyewitness investigation, Mike Perlstein gives us an exclusive look inside the ill-fated project. At one of the busiest intersections in Metairie, at the corner of Veterans and Clearview, a building sits vacant. But inside, tens of thousands of dollars worth of publicly funded construction material are piled up and abandoned, gathering mold and dust, threatened by seeping water, invaded by wasps and rats. What's been happening inside this building at 4545 Veterans, or more accurately, what has not been happening has been a secret even to council members and other parish leaders. And they let this matter just linger on, so it's costing the taxpayers of Jefferson uh, about $43,000 a month to an empty building. In 2016, East Jefferson General Hospital signed a 10-year lease on the building. After getting special zoning by the parish council, the hospital unveiled plans for a standalone emergency room following a national trend and keeping competing hospitals from encroaching on its backyard. The enthusiasm didn't last long. Within a year, the project was abandoned. But the lease payments, $43,000 a month, continued to flow to the building's owner, a corporation called Sella 3. Here's one example on the outside of the building of construction that's been left unfinished and abandoned. Inside, it looks like a neutron bomb went off. No signs of life, but rooms full of construction material abruptly left behind, all the way down to this stack of blueprints. Outside, a brand new, nearly $40,000 generator sits unused, hooked up to nothing. So how much has this failed project cost the hospital? Lease payments made so far are close to $1 million, but the hospital remains on the hook for a full 10 years of lease payments, more than $5 million. Another $3 million was spent on abandoned construction and materials, meaning more than $8 million in public money have been obligated so far. Because of the regulatory changes, because of the changes in the market, we decided uh, to pull the plug. The parking lot was built for an ER, but by 2018, the hospital was quietly trying to sublease the building for some other commercial use. That's how the landlord found out about the sudden change of plans, and his attorneys fired off a series of demand letters. When those letters went unanswered, he filed a breach of lease lawsuit, claiming the building has been left to deteriorate. Now, on top of the cost of the abandoned project, the hospital is paying attorneys to fight the lawsuit. Attorney fees mount up very quickly, and it doesn't serve a useful purpose for the attorney fees to mount up without some sort of attempt to resolve the matter. You know, Vinnie Mosca, a lawyer and longtime Jefferson political figure, has followed the litigation from the start. How are you going to resolve it? You know, it's taxpayer money being spent day after day after day after day. Welcome back. We're with hospital Michael board Williams member Newell Norman, President. now a host with our partner WWL Radio, says East Jeff is fighting the lawsuit and looking at other uses for that prime real estate. We can use that property for any purposes that we desire pursuant to the lease. He's receiving the lease payments. I don't know what else to tell you. This nearly empty building is just one of many things bleeding money from the troubled 420-bed hospital, one of the last public standalone hospitals left in the region. Because East Jefferson Hospital is in dire financial straits right now. Tulane finance professor David Lesman says the hospital's financial condition is poor and deteriorating. The hospital has been hit by five bond downgrades in five years by national ratings companies. It lost $27 million in 2017. And 18 is projected to be an even worse year. That leaves East Jefferson General with limited options. Bankruptcy, an unlikely bailout by the parish, or finding a merger partner. The parish's other public hospital, West Jefferson Medical Center, has partnered with LCMC, a network that includes University Medical Center as well as Toro and Children's Hospitals. Negotiations between East Jefferson and national player HCA fizzled last year. They've gone to the dance without a partner.
and everybody else is partnering up and they're left uh, holding the bag. Norman says new merger talks are ongoing but admits that East Jefferson's future depends on a breakthrough. We desire a partner. There's no doubt about that. You're not going to see single standalone hospitals forever. It's just not going to happen. And if partnership talks fizzle? I can't imagine the legislators stepping in and, and anting up any more money for this. They're going to force a bankruptcy in this regard. That's, what's, that's East Jefferson's future, in my opinion. Since East Jeff is a public hospital, the parish is ultimately on the hook for whatever financial moves are made. And millions of dollars spent on an abandoned building is not helping. In response to a public records request, the hospital would not reveal what it has paid attorneys to defend the breach of lease lawsuit. Attorneys for the owner of the building, meanwhile, said the abandoned improvements are now rotting in place and the damages are approaching $20 million.